In this demonstration, you'll learn how to selectively improve a mesh and its topology for a centrifugal compressor geometry with a trailing edge blade cutoff and ANSYS turbo grid. I will also touch on some important features which make meshing easier and produce higher quality meshes. First, I need to load a blade geometry into ANSYS turbo grid which has been produced using a CAD software such as ANSYS blade modeler or design modeler. For this example, I need to add a shroud tip gap to my geometry. I will start by generating an initial mesh with the default meshing settings. I can toggle the visibility of each mesh component. For this demonstration, I will make the blade, splitter, tip, and hub portions of the mesh visible. I can then return to the mesh and topology settings, modify the mesh resolution, and improve the mesh quality as required. I'll set a target expansion rate to improve the resolution. This controls the ratio of edge heights in the direction normal to the blade as the mesh expands away from the blade. Higher expansion rates will result in a coarser mesh but may sacrifice solution quality. Lowering the factor has the opposite effect. Overall, this factor can be used to optimize the mesh distribution in the boundary layer normal to the blade. With respect to previous versions of TurboGrid, further improvements in tip mesh quality have been made which reduce the element skewness improving solution accuracy in these areas. At the trailing edge, the new meshing method uses more effective node placement which is computationally more efficient. Here is a direct visual comparison between the tip mesh produced by the current version and previous versions of TurboGrid at the leading edge, where you can clearly see the reduction in element skewness, especially near the apex. At the trailing edge, it is apparent that the more effective node placement has resulted in a lower variation in element size. Overall, the new tip meshing methods result in higher quality meshes, increasing solution accuracy and resolution by decreasing element skewness and controlling element size. The mesh at the cutoff is used to describe the wake produced by the blade. To accurately describe the details of the working fluid's motion in this area, a higher mesh density is often required. The cutoff edge split factor provides control of the mesh density in this area. The distribution of elements across the blade tip mesh is governed by the distribution of elements across the cutoff edge. The fidelity of the solution could be increased through increasing the number of elements near the cutoff edge, so I will increase this value and update the mesh. At this point, I have adequately improved my mesh's quality using the topology and mesh improvement features available in TurboGrid. Now I can use this mesh in CFD simulations to make accurate deductions about my centrifugal compressor's geometry. This concludes this demonstration describing the new mesh and topology improvement features available in TurboGrid.